Another company on comments slash podcast. Hope you're all doing well. We have a great show planned for you today. Yeah, we do. That we're making up as we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So what's on our uh, what's on the list for our made up? I think we're gonna do some comments. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, outside of that, who knows? We're gonna debunk some rumors. We're gonna uncover some mysteries. I've got one to start off with. Well, before you do that, okay, please. We have to talk about our sponsor, Ridge Wallets. Damn right we do. They're back again, man. They're like family now. We wouldn't have a podcast weren't for those That's guys. That's right. Slim RFID blocking, lifetime guaranteed. They they look futuristic. They you can hardly tell that they're there. Yep. And there's a they emit like a hologram. Uh-huh. When you press on the top part, top Boop. left corner, yep. this is fake. And then the, the hologram it, comes up and it explains to you the history of wallets. These Simon the, has eaten mushrooms it's again. A fun, and it's a fun this, Easter yeah, egg, isn't giving it? us false stuff. But hey, go to Ridge We've Wallets. We debunked it. We told you we would. Yeah. Hey, go visit Ridge Wallets at ridgewallet.com forward slash Neebs. That way you can get 10% off and free shipping. What I was going to bring up. I learned mm. today on the good old NPRs was, um, you know, your dry spices in the cupboard. Yeah. Apparently, you're supposed to replace those like every 90 days. Every yeah, they can, 90, they can go bad. They go bad. Yeah, but no, 90 look, days well, is 90 insane. days, this is coming from a, a, a top chef person. This sounds like a rumor. No, no, I've heard this no. as well. But like, This is look. like the oil people. They're like, change your oil every year. And you're like, Well, really? I understand. Yeah. Why, yeah, but she doesn't gain the, the this chef. She doesn't gain anything by you replacing. She wanted you to know that that's the way but to go. But she's probably heard it from the spice companies. They're in. Oh, her, I know who they're in her yeah. pockets. The spice yeah. girls. It's the lobbyists. It's exactly. The spice, the spice lobbyists. You need to change your spices every ninety days. Now look, bad. you can still use those of course, spices, and after, we all do. Like I've, I've got spices in my cupboard that have been there for a year. Baking soda is another thing. Don't if, fall for if it. People have that in their freezers and stuff Good to forever. remove odors or wherever. Yep. Or is it in your fridge? Glue. Glue doesn't go bad. It goes bad. Uh, not glue. Baking soda. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, fun facts. <laughs> Super <Yay>. fun. <laughs> About <laughs> your spices and baking soda. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm going to have to duck out uh, in a little bit, so I wouldn't mind going first with you the comments. You know what? And I'm going to go second because I might duck out right behind you. What? I need, I need antibiotics. <laughs> yeah, you, you have, have a sinus infection. Oh, I've got to go pick up my daughter. You have, you have a, a maybe sinus infection. Oh, from, it's not a maybe. I've listen, had this for two weeks now. You're sick. And Wait, now why are we focused on? Because Dreyas is actually not feeling good. What's, why is thick ducking out? Why I've got to go pick up my daughter. Family stuff. Oh, really? How long you had that daughter? <laughs> she can't Too pick long. herself up now? No, Does no. she have a sinus infection? Why no. are you picking her up? I don't know. I'm a dad. <laughs> <laughs> I got to uh, go replace my spice rack. Yeah. <laughs> it's old. It's yeah, like I got to duck out. It's like 91 I days realized old. Man. These spices are way over 90 days old. Tamric? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Simon, you look disgusted right now. No, I'm just thinking about all those damn spices no think about them like people buying a spice rack you're like oh look i'm buying a spice rack this thing's gonna be good for like 10 yeah, years and you I'll go pass no. this down to my Not grandchildren close. you're just buying the wood thing that holds the spices you're supposed to throw away after 90 there's days there's probably an expiration date on all of those little things let me tell you something please i hate shelves what? hate them what hate, just shelves. hate shelves we shouldn't What's even have shelves option, oh wait i mean shelves outside of something you know what I'm saying? Like on a wall. External shelves? No, shelves can be You want good. underground shelves. I want underground doing? shelves. I want shelves in a closet. I hate dust is what I'm saying. Okay. If you yeah, have shelves you in a room, you're well, getting dust. Then yeah, say just, dust. Yeah, you just don't want to clean stuff. Dust. Yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah, that's, uh, we you can't have... get rid of dust, but we can get rid of shelves. Yeah. I, 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 no, I feel you. No, you can get rid of dust. You just wipe it off. What do you, you live in Intel? Is your house like a Pentium processor room? No. That's like saying, like, I hate noses. But actually, I just hate snot, but comes from a nose. It's not like saying that at all. It is. That's a horrible example. I disagree. <laughs> Are we starting? I don't, I don't want to start off like this. No, okay, let's yeah, be yeah, happy. yeah. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me talk about the comments that I have Why do real we always quick. fight? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of fighting, uh, my comments come from the most recent ARC video. Ooh. And uh, Saber Origins says... There's a lot of conflicting comments, by the way, Doral. It's a oh, lot got, of them. I've got one today. It's great. Ah, oh, yes. Saber Origin says, Fix the best for not giving up and making progress when everyone else counts him out. Good job on the Enforcer. It's going to be an asset to you guys. He was king of the Wyverns, and I predict he will soon be king of the Titans. Hashtag, hashtag Team Thick 44. It was self-proclaimed. It makes you look bad when you pick comments like that and you read them about yourself. Oh. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. 
Here it's we conflicting. go. It's conflicting. Yeah. Alyssa Marie, that dumb piece of shit. No, I'm kidding. You're not a dumb piece of shit. I'm sorry, <laughs> Alyssa Marie. I'll brush your hair and tell you you're pretty. Uh, she says, <laughs> since Thick is trying to argue at 620 that he didn't thick anything, it's time to expand on the definition of thicked. Uh, I guess the first one, actively thick, is when you accompany thick on a rest- reckless mission, despite knowing better. This mission results in the death of you and or your animals. Okay, that's active. To be passively thick is to simply die for being near thick as a result of his carelessness <laughs> due to being distracted or bored due to his insatiable thirst to get kills. Uh, Charlie was passively thicked. Yeah, so, there you go. I'll, I'll agree with that. So I there's zoned that. Out halfway through that one. <laughs> uh, Mr. Skittles says he got thicked. No, more like he got kneeded. Uh, you should have never went for a tame when those spiky dudes are there. Thick is not to blame. Also, you wanted to tame a trike with three others nearby. Not a good idea. I knocked two of them out. Love the content. Keep up the good work. All I'm saying is Charlie wasn't attacking anybody. When you took control over him, you could have just went away from the other dinos. And this is a great segue into my next comment. Ooh. Charlie Dempsey says, Kentros will go aggro to anything. If you're near them, shh, shh, go shh. away from the dinos. Dude, Why would you be around? To... They came to you? Yeah. You couldn't have gone to uh, one of the other thousands of acres Keep of empty mind, I got off my mount to help out, and then my mount ran away. Uh, but Kendros will go aggro on anything. Charlie did not get thicked. He got Kendroed. What's Kendrode. a Kendro? It's, it's a spiky, spiky tail. Day. Remember that thing that had you in its tail? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, mini Stego. But yeah. a Kendro. Yeah. I'm not mad, Thick. I'm just saying. Follow me over here, away from you everything. You were doing some dumb <laughs> shit. Everything about what you were doing was so dumb. Huh? It's not. It's, Everybody it's in the selfless. comments. It's a selfless saint Actually, everybody like in the act. comments was saying that Charlie got thicked, but... Uh, yeah, you're, you're a buffoon. <laughs> well, when the, when the dino union builds a statue to me, stat, a statue, a statue, no, it's, yeah. it's yeah. statue uh, now. They're not going to, they're not, yeah, they're, they're not going to Libre. <laughs> I'd like to have a statue. Uh, I got one more comment. It's from, uh, Walrus Ahoy. I'm so glad this comment is in here and it's for Simon. Oh, wham sandwich, thick cut bread, two rounds filled with. Uh, the cured carcasses of the fallen, no butter or condiments, so it sticks in your throat and makes you choke. Best served with a missing slice of humble pie and a glass of warm piss. And this is the part that I like. Simon, make a damn make the damn sandwich video. Love your stuff. You own YouTube. Yeah. When's that sandwich video coming out? It's one of those things that I'll it'll come out right after my stand up career. Yeah. So soon. Yeah, real soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right around the corner tomorrow. Yeah, because that's about dried up already, huh? Yeah, you hadn't even started and it's dried up. I know. Yeah, what the hell, man. You're on a VH1, VH1, like where? Where are they now? Seriously, <laughs> where were they then? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, where, where, they <laughs> then? where was he then? And where then were, you could see me in my kitchen by myself making a sandwich, or yep. more, maybe where were they ever? <laughs> yeah, right. that's why a good weren't title. they there? <laughs> what if they were? That's it. I wrote a sandwich voiceover commercial from a really cheesy sandwich recipe video that I found from like 2007 when that I thought was that? really good. Was this recent? When? Yeah, we yeah. didn't hear you it. Do, the last, you, like, you do uh, funny stuff on the weekend sometimes. Well, I mean, just, when I, no one sees. Yeah. Well, no, no. I just, I had an idea that I thought would be good for a sandwich video. So it was my first attempt at like, oh, maybe I could do it like this. And it was like all well shot with like making a Reuben. It was how to make a Reuben. And I was, you know, but I took their script and then I just, Simonized it. But you know what? This is the problem, Simon. Yeah. Is your mention of all these things that no one else gets to experience. I know. I'm just making conversation because we're doing a podcast. You're crying wolf to a degree. Not really. Is that is that mm, does that work there? No, 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 no not no, at all. Yeah. No. I'm just what's saying, saying. What's the equivalent of hey, that audience, in this case? Let me tell you about some things you'll never see or hear yeah, no, that I've I'll, been doing. I was just saying that's what I did. Yeah, I won't do it. I was really into this podcast until this whole sandwich thing started. Yeah, because it was my turn. Now for I'm having a hard time listening. Well, to anything. Needs, what's just... more dangerous, sandwiches or sharks? You want to talk more about your sharks. dino union? So I bet you more people die from choking <laughs> on sandwiches than sharks. You're probably absolutely, yeah, absolutely right. right. Yeah. 
<laughs> because a, because people live on land. There's no sandwiches right. in the ocean. Right. You don't know That's that. A great argument. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my comments because I need antibiotics. Okay. Antibody comments. Um, okay, so this is from me. Last week's uh, the first, the Invincible Tank. Yep, the Scrap, Scrap mechanic, mechanic, you know, yeah. is, which is part one of a two-parter. A very mm-hmm. fun video. One will be out when this one. Thoroughly yeah, this one. enjoyed it. Worked out all right. From Reclusive Eagle. So ah. part two question mark. I'll answer that right now. Ah. Yes, because on the video it also said there'd be a part two. So good job reading. Uh, on the bright side, something Duralius made actually works for once. And I was like, oh, they didn't see the tank. Oh, it's my little, it was the retreat. Oh, yeah. That was a good. The catapult. little catapult. Yeah, that catapult. was great. That worked out perfect. After yep. seeing that video, I really want to see a video where you guys have two castles and like they're just, you have catapults on each one and you're yeah. just lobbing mm-hmm. bombs back and forth. Oh, yeah. I'm one, yeah. We can destroy each other's castle first. That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. They yeah. wouldn't explode. Uh, probably the timing would work out really well. Yeah. You'd think the launch would start, would probably trigger. I don't know. Maybe. We'll, th- we'll. We'll science that. But, yeah, I just want you guys to build catapults now and lob bombs at each other. Sure. I like that. that. It seems I'm fun. I'm in. Um, let's see. Uh, this one is also from that same video from the text is very small, so I po- apologize. R- Reich and OW6666. Been a lot of short videos being cut, a- cut up into two-parters and such lately. Hopefully it's a temp thing because of holidays. Your vids at 25 to 30 minutes are a great sweet spot. Nonetheless... An entertaining but short video. I think there were two. Well, yeah, I split Human, Human Fall, Fall Flat, Flat into two, mm-hmm. which worked. Which ends up being four. So now there's four. So it was two videos two split videos up. Two videos cut in half, that's four. Yep. So, uh, yeah, our weekend lineup, they tend to be in that 20-minute range or more. Maybe 18 to... And those aren't even weekend videos. Those they are aren't even... Weekday. What? I'm talking Scrap about... Scrap and Human Fall. Yeah. Those, you know, they're 10... In between ten to sixteen, usually, usually yeah, yeah. So well, also, I mean, you know, it, it's it's a decision to the editor when they get yep. the footage back. Yep. Because sometimes you get something and you say, okay, I can make one video, but oh my god, it's going to take me forever and it's going to be like a 30, 45 minute video. Yep. Or I could split this into two. If there's 15, a good out yeah. at one if point, there's a good out. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I don't think so either. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind watching a 10, 15 minute video. It, nor do I, because yeah. I don't think a lot of people I have mean, the. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people want to see a 25 to 30 minute video, and that's why I brought this comment up. But that is a lot of time, you know. But sometimes, though, like I would, and I totally see their point. I would yeah. think that you wanting to see. Like scrap, especially if every other scrap is the, like you don't usually break it up into two. It's you, it's it's the first time that I remember you got, only, you ever really cops doing and it robbers before. Was two. Right, so cops and robbers, and then this one. Yeah. This one, like for the um, the human fall flat, I think that probably could have been one video. It was like ninety to a hundred. That would have been a, a thirty minute video. Yeah, maybe twenty five if it was really edited down at, a little at bit some more. Point, but because we record two days, we all record t- timing wise. A 30 minute video, that's like, that's a week dead. And then I still need another video for the fall. You know how this works. I do. Anyway, you cut that whole thing out right there. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> uh, I'm loopy because of this thing. <laughs> I do feel the uh, loopy on the. God, and this snot is just horrible. What's smelling. it taste like? You said it tastes weird. It's it's so unique. This is a fun we're topic. Not, well, no, this is definitely not going to be I want to know what your so snot tastes no. like. Well, why don't that? you go try it? Just blow some out and let me. Dude, after let, blowing my yeah. nose and it like try it. that little bit that hangs out on my upper lip, uh-huh. and I just smell it for the next. Oh, you smell it. It's Ugh. so fucking weird. You can smell your snot? Yeah, so that tells me something's wrong. <laughs> Look at Simon looking at me. He does not want to hear this. <laughs> What's it smell like? I, I can't compare it Blue to any yeah. Super unique. No. None of this is no. like, like bile. I can't compare it to anything, not even bile. But it is not good. Simon, you really don't want this in the podcast, do you? Keep it in. Show some pictures. Why would anyone? Because it's, this is it's like, real life stuff. This is science, man. Yeah, we keeps it real. What is it? So it's this is a Human Fall Flat. The, I, uh, wait, can I touch on this for a minute? I thought we did. Sometimes when I use conditioner, do y'all condition? Yes. No, I'm bald. Okay, well, uh, when I use conditioner, for some reason the smell of conditioner to me reminds me of wicker. Why is that? Is there something in there that has the same... I don't condition. You don't? I'm surprised at that. Why? Yeah. You seem like a guy that would condition. You're very like, It doesn't even matter. I put product in my hair. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> yeah. I yeah. make it from the soft fluffies to this pasty mess. 
<laughs> so what's the point? You know, I don't need the soft right. flops. Well, if anybody listening understands yeah. what's in conditioner, great, it's great. That was, it's that it's was, probably made of wicker. Some people think cilantro tastes like soap. Let's move on. Um, this is from uh, one of the human fall flats. The last two, so into the dark or whatever. I, I forget what I call them, but uh, conflicting comments. Mm. More of that. Farm Boy fifteen twenty nine says, "Dumbest fucking game ever." Even <laughs> you guys can't make this shit entertaining. I yeah, I totally disagree. Yeah, wrong. Run snap kick. And then of course, uh, Mick uh, Fizzy says one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. Like it. <laughs> it is a wonderful. Mick Fizzy game. sounds like a, a genius, a scholar, no, yeah. road scholar. It's fun to play. If you like silliness, it's fun to look at. So it makes me wonder if Farm Boy was just trying to, like, you know, get a little rise out of someone. Probably you know, opposite day because, for Farm Boy. Because um, those, vi- those videos both are top notch. Yeah, quality. he just didn't like the game. I mean, yeah, I get it. Might not like fun. It's yeah. like that's a game you could show someone who didn't game, and just, the, just seeing how the characters walk around and how they interact with each other is genuinely entertaining, in my opinion. They look so dumb, and how we grab each other's faces, how I carry you around, Simon. You love it so much. Oh, my God, it makes me so happy. <laughs> it I does. I just giggle away. It does, and I, and I kind of <laughs> like it, too, because I, I know how much it's nice to bring that much joy to somebody else. Right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Every time he grabs me, I get upset, and then I'm like, oh, no. It's, nah, he's just let fun. him do his oh, thing. He's having fun. He's let like him. A, I can hear the smile. <laughs> <laughs> let him play. Oh, thank you so much. Next one's from, uh, let's see. This is from an arc that I don't think I was in, where you made the wolf box? Yes, the wolf box. Mm-hmm. This is from Alyssa Marie. She said, can I just point out that the wolf box did technically do its job at trapping a wolf? The one that Abstra was writing. Yes, right. it did. <laughs> is, that, is that the same damn Alyssa Marie? As what? As Alyssa, as what? As the, the one that hates thick? The, the one that, yeah. Did she just? Yeah. Yeah, that's that was great. the one I think. This is let her me, episode. Hold on, let me make sure that's Title her. Title this episode, Alyssa Marie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Double Listen comment Marie. fest. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's any comments about this, but was that the episode where you lure the animals to Simon? Um, you just was that last week? No, I think that was last week. So week something's before. chasing you, like, hey Simon, and they oh, just yeah, stop and die. Yeah. It's like, yeah, a pack of wolves is chasing <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, I just lead them to Simon, and they eat him instead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just came in, obviously. Right. Yes, yeah, you just my way. spawned in. Yeah, <laughs> but that was pretty funny, and obviously a good point by Alyssa because yeah, it did capture. No, a, yeah, Wolfbox. Wolf. Wolfbox succeeded in capturing me and my wolf. It ended up working out. We got the bear. <laughs> it's true. It was an Orthodox, and uh, Simon died. But uh, we got the bear. A bear is a wonderful animal to have in that game. Yes. No, they're fast. They're strong. They, they carry got, a lot. They that got was all her, Gralius. Confirmed. Wow. That was Alyssa Marie. Look at her. I know. Who's this on is... top of the world right I now? She can eat my butt. <laughs> what? Um, what was that? Who's there? She might be like 12. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But we can move on. That yeah. We know. <laughs> and I'm all over the place, and I apologize. This is from a Conan episode. And I think it's from the last one that came. So it might have been the snake, the, uh, the, the sewer snake. Maybe no, or we don't gargoyles. Know. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Wijon, Wijon, Wijon says, "This is quoting you, Simon. It's a bridge waterfall. That's weird. It's an aqueduct. They are in almost every movie that involves the Roman Empire. I know you aren't that dumb, Simon, but you should stop taking the role of the dummy in every single video." Let Neebs take that role once in a while with his redneck science. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm really dumb. Thanks for laughing. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, like that's really him. Yeah, and, I'm smart with different things. Yeah, I know. I like we to, all I like to think. Bone. But the thing is, when Rubens, I saw that too, Pastram. I didn't immediately think aqueduct. No. I wasn't. My well, brain it looks like a bridge. That. And I don't know, because there is a big section of the map called Broken Bridge. But that may be further north, and that may actually be an aqueduct. I, I mean, I don't the, even know the, how aqueducts work. Yeah, with the, well, with the transport water, the, with the way that map water. looks, I mean, that bridge fell apart, and an earthquake happened, and then now you got some water runoff going into the bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge waterfall. I could see it happening. Bada bing. Bada bing. Yeah, bada bing. All right, but guys, I gotta run. I gotta aqueduct. run. All right, bye, thick. thick I'm so shortly behind you. And then it's on these Wait. guys. No, we're we're only twenty minutes in. I know, but I need to get me some antibiotics. You two left the last uh, podcast as well. Do, s- they did. Simon, did. No, but listen, Simon. Thick like, and Dralis, they left. 
Both of them. Yeah. Didn't but, they? Did they leave the last podcast? Yeah, they both did it towards the end. Like, they just walked out. Because you guys were arguing, like, now oh, they're right, leaving right, right, right. You could have been podcast. a part of that love. But can I just tell you why? Because, like, well, I'm I know flying why. out tomorrow. And, like, if this pressure, I've been told mm-hmm. by a nerd, like, if this pressure doesn't get relieved at all, it could be a nightmare of a oh, trip. Oh, that could be very bad. All right. Maybe so you I just want to, like, nip it as quick as I can and get some antibiotics. Him sick. Him need to see a doctor. I don't oh. want my head to burst. Him need your Do I always have your boo-boo? Hey. Well, it's pressure uh, caused by the... You know. got a boo- pressure got a boo-boo. got a shinish boo-boo. You know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to blow oh, some my, snot. My, uh... In your oh. fucking puffs. And let us smell it. And oh. let you smell oh, it. It smells well. so bad. So you can bad. see what's going on in my head. My snot smells so bad. If you had to pick something. <laughs> if you want to smell my pick snot. Some, I don't want to smell it. I want can you to explain smell it. For it. Me? No, I want you to <laughs> explain it. I can't hide anything. <laughs> smell my snot. Is it more like, of like uh, I really didn't the title th- of the- I really didn't think we'd keep That's any something. of it in. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I could take it out. For Not real. Anymore. Simon, smell my snot. <laughs> like I know it tastes bad. No, it smells bad it too. It smells bad too. It's fucking weird and unnatural. Does well, it's smell natural. Like what's that? Does it, it smell like, like wicker? More like soap. Tastes like soap. All right. It smells like yeah. soap. So, no, do no, we get them out now? Cilantro thing. Mm. Do we just get them out now? No, I'm no. gonna pack my stuff, but I'm gonna leave it on you guys. I think now's okay. a good time to bring up PLGX. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, we should. That's perfect. Okay, for those of you who didn't see the commercial by Astro, which was awesome. Was yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. We're holding a live event. Uh, what year is this? In case people, 2019. Need, it's 2019. So if you're listening to this in the future, don't try to do this because yes. it'll be over. Yes. We're doing a live event here in our hometown of Wilmington. Mm-hmm. Uh, May third and fourth at Thalian Hall. There's also. Uh, with the tickets, you get uh, entry into the pre-party and after-party. It's going to be a, a weekend of yeah. fun. Party, live show, party. Also, How It Should Have Been is going to be there. And the JT, JT Music. music. Yep. I've never smelled anything like this. <laughs> you're still he, doing no, it. Oh, God. He's he, blew he, his nose and he's just He's got a tissue it. and he's sniffing it. And you're associating that with... That's not that in your with, nose. How I'm, would you not just... Because when do you smell your snot? When it, as soon as it comes out, you smell your snot on a regular basis. I'm saying, I'm like, saying, you should have nasal fatigue because it's in there. Every breath should be you smell. You know how you go. Oh no! It it like right now after I blew my nose, I am smelling it every breath, like it's going into my you know my. So if old, it's a bacterial infection, you got a bunch of bacteria in there, and bacteria it's like it's like shit, right? Simon it's like it's is, like rotting my brain. Just right rotting, is just hating this whole <laughs> snot arc of the story. I mean, I'll hang out and talk about. It's not smelly snot for a little Simon, can you put yeah. the PLGX link in the description so they can get tickets if they want to? Maybe. It's a live show. Come see it. Hang out with us. Party with us live. It's going to be fun. It'll probably be fun. I guarantee it's going to no, be fun. No, it's going to be a good like, time. I, I can't wait for that weekend. Yeah, it's gonna we're going to have a good time. Look, if you like, uh, it'll probably be like a train wreck, the show. So <laughs> oh, the show might be, but it. that's fun. Yeah. Train wrecks can you be fun. See us? I bet it's going to be fine. No, yeah. I mean, I think that things we're probably going to have technical difficulties oh, and weird shit's going to happen, yeah. but we're going to riff. We're going to play. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. Well, it's our first time doing anything like this live, like sitting in front of an audience for... Which, I mean, we're going to have different events at the show or whatever. But, yeah, uh, it's yeah. not even going to be for that. Well, I mean, what, you know, not it's, even yeah, that long. It's, yeah, it's not that long. And as of right now, the tickets It'll are about, about half sold out, so... So get them while you can. You okay, Simon? I'm talking about snot some more. Yeah. You seem a little down today. Down? Yeah. You think I'm down? Is a lot on your mind? No. <laughs> <laughs> there is. What can I do to cheer you up? No, I'm fine. Everything's good. You want me to do a dance or sing a song for you? What are you? Why are you acting weird? I want to make you happy. I want you to be happy. You can't make me happy. I could make what, you no, happy. No, yes, happiness I could. comes from within. You can always do like I do and just make fun of Duralius in a silly voice. He likes that. Try that. I'm Duralius. Ooh, my snot is so stinky. <laughs> that works. <laughs> that worked. did it. That made me happy. That was it. Because it wasn't it do, even good. It doesn't take much. I know. I it's know, a I, silly I, voice making fun of your your smelly. <laughs> <laughs> if you just added you had to say smelly something. words and smelly, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you have to say oh, no. something that's that that it's correlates with what event. you do. Like, yeah. I don't use conditioner. All right, probably a good time to leave then, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now's when we argue. 
No, let's Usually not Usually when they leave, we argue. All right. Well, should I do... <laughs> let's get into a fight. <laughs> now it's time to fight. <laughs> well, let's get into it then. I think let's one get of into my, something. One of my comments refers to that. Is combative? No, it refers to... <laughs> refers to our fight oh god <laughs> which wasn't really anything i'm really no, i was no. pretty surprised this that is gonna rekindle this i think nah the people and no it's it's you over say that but if i bring up sandwiches or sharks right now simon takes his earrings off and starts <laughs> bowing his chest up so i think i have a couple of comments that make reference to it but then other things too but d d meads 56 says anyone else feel awkward listening to them fight at the end of at the end like that <laughs> It's like seeing a couple argue loudly at the grocery store while their kid <laughs> cries next to the chips. <laughs> yeah. That's a good analogy. Yeah. So I, so I thought that was fun. And a lot of people did like it. Yeah. I just didn't think it was that entertaining, but people really do like to listen I to like us it. argue. I like it because, well, here's what I like about When you think about it, a group like ours, a channel like our, ours is, is rare, I think, just because of it's hard to get five people together and now we have two extra with seven of us who don't kill each other the well, hold on. if you want me to give you shit i'll give you shit i can't fathom for the life of me why right after we're done recording this shit you just don't go i'm gonna grab every comment right now you're the only one that why? doesn't email them to me yes. everyone fucking else emails because i'm them here to they're right here on the desktop yeah, but you're just... supposed to fucking get them at home when i tell you to get them two no, days before it doesn't matter you get them and then you email them doesn't to matter. me it doesn't matter it doesn't right matter here. you're right the here. only one who doesn't email them to me i gotta you're the grab only a hard one. drive plug it into this computer when we're done recording and just grab the damn thing all you gotta do is hard yeah. And we're not paid to be here by some bigger company. Yeah. And we, we've we, we govern ourselves. Yeah. And we've known each other for God too long. Yeah. And we can cross that line very yeah. easily. We can speak our minds. <laughs> yeah. We can That's, have a fight and we can yeah. move on. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is though, we've always been like we've been dancing with that really fine line of like a little bit too far. For long enough to the point where one of these days it's gonna snap. Like somebody's no. gonna go. We would have over snapped the... already. I'm about Most people to snap. I'm just already. kidding. I'm not so. snapping a bad. I mean, way. I think we've all had instances where you know, at least I have. I go home thinking that son of a bitch. What he said today, that son of a bitch. But then, like, once you go to bed and wake up, you're like, ah, whatever. It's right. You know, I love him. I still love him. I love all of them. Yeah, that no. son of a bitch. You, you're all sons of bitches. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's a family. It is, yeah. It's, it's the best way to describe it. Justin Ader, or Adder says, why do we not have a version of the Cheers theme yet? You guys need to get cracking on it. <laughs> Your fans demand this. Also, Abstro, you're my son's favorite. You're the reason he plays Subnautica. Keep up the awesome work. Love from Ohio. Also, Neebs, I hate the cold, too. And I think that the Cheers song would f fit. Did you watch Conan? Last, uh, yeah, yeah, and I, Ada, yeah, Ada I did a great job. Great, I yeah. hate that song, but I really <laughs> liked that montage. It of, was great. Yeah, the montage was fun. The montage was awesome. I texted him and I said that was fucking really specifically about that. Yeah, saying how much I like that. Yeah. Then I saw this comment was like, yeah, because really us, we've done it so many times. It is such a thing. <laughs> we should do the song. We should release it. Get, we could split the profits. Yeah. yeah, just like we did the fucking Den John Denver tune. Yeah, get so sick and do it. We should, the Cheers we should do it. I want to see. I, I don't know that song. I never watched Cheers. Oh, yeah. But, it's, I mean, you guys obviously watched the shit out of Cheers growing up, right? Well, I mean, it was such a, an iconic, uh, for that era, yeah. it was the, so everyone kind of knew that song. Even if you'd only seen Cheers five times, that song just became yeah, stuck guys, in the culture of that decade or so that the do show like was like a on. high energy version of it? That'd be interesting. I don't know. Let Thick do a guitar solo. A whittly whittly. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Do a power ballad. Power ballad cheer song. Yeah. Make we'll it, all get wigs. Yeah. Make it sound like a Guns N' Roses something. Yeah. yeah. Like an 80s metal hair band. And we'll debut it at PLGX. Sounds great. I'm in. You're in. I'm in. Yes. I'm in. Uh, we got Joe Koenig says after a long night of browsing the web, looking at dream catchers for my car and washing my hands <laughs> with liquid soap. <laughs> I thought of a question for you guys to answer. Uh, what games are you guys most excited for in mm. 2019? Keep up the good work. 2019. I think uh, The Last of Us 2 is coming out this it is. year. Uh, that one looks awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Resident Evil 2 remakes right around the corner. That looks cool. Uh, Subnautica DLC. That's coming out. Those are three off the top of my head. 
What was the first one you said? The 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 Last of Us. The Last of Us Two. Yes. Right. The Last of Us Two. I think will be the first when that comes out. I think I'm gonna. That'll be the first game I'm gonna watch through. Well, you don't want to play it. You just want to watch. I want to watch. You want to watch it. somebody. I, I kind of would like to play it, but to be honest, it would be so frustrating. I rather yeah. just. But I'd be curious to see how they because they're pretty amazing. Yeah. At least and, the little bits that I've seen of. The oh first yeah, no, one. the first one. The first one's great. So I, like, I mean, narrative. Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog does narrative very well. They did the Uncharted games, which are. I mean. Like the one of the only games where my wife told me you can't play this without me in the room because I want to see what ha-. it was. It was a TV show. You were playing a TV show at that point. That's what I kind of see it as The Last of Us is. Yeah. You're watching a movie. You're yeah, playing a is. movie. Yeah. So and she watched that one with me too. But yeah, she yeah had no desire to play. Just wants to watch. Um, I think there's another. I don't know if Halo Infinite comes out this year, but I think there's a Halo game in the works. I haven't played a good Halo game in a long time. Simon, I would love to play the first Halo game with you. Yeah? Yeah, like co-op. You can do two-player and play through the campaign. Well, he doesn't want to play that with you. Yeah, I don't think I would. (laughs) I think I would love to play that with you. Well, uh, the first one. The first one's like the best one. Yeah, well, maybe one of these days we'll go on vacation together and we'll play it. That no, maybe good? one day. Where I'm y'all just, going? I'm gonna drag it in here and make you play it. Because I, I might want to go. I would like to go to the Dominican Republic. I want to go. Yeah, I want to go there. Too. I, I've never I been there. I would like to I'd go there. there. Yeah. Can we do that? Can we make that a work thing? Yeah. <laughs> so just, I gotta go to the Dominican Republic to play Halo. Yeah, we're playing Halo. It's, yeah. That's the that's it's the, the only best place. place. Can, it's the only place we can play it. Yeah. It'll be like when those talk shows do their show from a different place. Yes. It'll just like that. So this would be perfect because it's just going to be us three. The other guys aren't here, Mm -hmm. so they couldn't be a part of this plan. We're going to have a. We wish y'all could have came, but you weren't the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided in the podcast. His snot smells weird. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) Who wants to be in the Dominican? Because that could happen at any time. He's infected, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. From now on, he shouldn't be traveling with us at all. Yeah. If Mm -hmm. it happens once, it could easily. Yeah. It's going to happen every freaking week now. And who would want to hear him talk about that anymore? Nobody. It's gross. So I speak Spanish too. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's that's why we're bringing you along. Yeah. You are you, our interpreter. I knew you that have would come in there. handy. Yep. This is more of a two person. I'm not thing. fluent though. No, but that's fine. But I can we'll, say a lot. We yeah. can lie to the boys. You want to say, say your, something? Tell me what you want to say. I want to say, um, let's just say I, I land at the airport and I say, "Excuse me, can you point out the adult diapers?" Okay. I uh, can't say that. I can say, "Excuse me," though. <laughs> Something along the lines. Can you say anything about adult diapers? Uh, uh, disculpe, necesito uh, pantalones uh, para un bebé, para mi caca. <laughs> okay. That's the best I could do. All Maybe right. that'll get That's the point fine. across. <laughs> That's fine. We'll see. It'd be better than what I would do. So I saw a comment shared by, I think it was shared by JJ, but I'm not sure, on Facebook. And this was a comment from our Patreon. It said... Uh, Kamusta Neebs Gaming. And Kamusta? Exp- yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Like, it's almost like that was the name of it. What's Kamusta? I don't, I don't know, Spanish. but what they said was, we just want to let you guys know that we love you all the way from the Philippines. Also, Simon, Ooh, I just want, just want to let you know that you are now the new name of Interface Software Testing. In our office, when a website is made and it's easy to use and understand, we call it Simon Proof. <laughs> And and when there when there is a lot of problems with it with it we call it thick or thick bug. Ah, That's boy. amazing. Yeah, keep up the great content. We love your arc vids and keep up the awesome work. World peace. That's always a, a nice compliment when you hear um, th- just the lingo we use have like people are using it in their workplace. Or like, I, I think the craziest example we had was the Australian military Mm -hmm. basically does not call c4 c4 anymore according to the people we've talked to yeah it is jeep stuff like that what an honor simon huh (laughs) yeah yeah that no that's awesome yeah the dumbest of people can use the proof yeah i i i want to work with them on anything i make uh website wise in the future They they could hire you it's like whenever the government hires uh criminals or hackers like, okay, we're going to hire you and see if you can break into this. They hire you, and, and you go, I can't figure this out. And like, it's not ready. <laughs> right. It's not ready. It's not ready. It's not ready You can't navigate the website. Yes, and I'll explain to <laughs> Even them. Even though the button right there says click here for 
Yeah, click he, here to start. I'm like, I can't. I don't know where to make start. It bigger. <laughs> make it bigger. Make it blink. You gotta be, make it. it bigger. Blink. You gotta have it in center screen. Yep. And then if it you don't click it, it clicks it for you eventually. Yes. Skybound pilot says, "Wow, they're more of a shill than Angry Joe when it comes to Ark pirates. Uh, Arc they're pirates. Yeah, they're charging full price for this DLC." And they didn't mention early access during the first view. They're Talking charging Atlas. almost full price for a game that barely works and was proven to be just a DLC for Ark. This did not look good for their company. Yet it's good to know Neves Gaming still supports their their decisions. Support their decision? I don't know. I mean, yeah. if it, you know. No, but that's what he's saying. He's saying that we're shills. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure. We get paid lots of money by the Ark at an Atlas people yeah. to say no, good we things don't. about their game. Yeah, we don't. I, um, but I, I could understand. I I think I made the argument. Uh, and the, it, we get paid zero. We've got no, paid yeah, nothing. We've got paid. Dick. Do we even do a video? An Atlas? No. We haven't even done a video. No, I talked about it in the last podcast, and okay. uh, I was I was just kind of flabbergasted by the just the the amount of backlash to it because. To me, it's like the backlash is like everyone's just stating something that's obvious. Yeah. It's like this is an early access game. You're basically char they're charging you to be a beta tester. And, and, what were they and, charging? Hmm? Did they charge sixty? I think it's thirty. No, it was thirty. Thirty. Yeah. So well, at least like a half thought price it was. Yeah. Half price. Yeah. yeah. You pay half price now. They'll charge sixty later. And we talked about this in the last podcast. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, eh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I mean, difference it, of it, opinion. I just it, thought I'd bring it up. With yeah. a lot of games, we like to wait till the game is. Ready. Yeah, no, and we I took a look at Atlas and I was like, Nope. I think Dick looked at it too. It was like, Yep, nope, this isn't anywhere near ready. We shouldn't touch this. But it'll get better, I would imagine. Yeah. Well I'm done. Done, huh? Wrapped up. I gotta pee. I think that leaves you. No, we're gonna do a musical break while he goes to pee. Okay. Right. Uh, let me just say something. There's a lot of new inventions in the world. We're solving a lot of problems. Why is it that a cling wrap dispenser still can't cut the cling wrap? That really bugs the crap uh, out of what, me. A clean wrap dispenser? Cling, What's that? Cling wrap. You, cling? Don't, you never Plastic do anything rat. in the kitchen, do you? Plastic no. wrap. Oh, okay. Now I know what you're saying. All yeah. Right. When you cut, yeah, cling you're wrap. pulling out the plastic and you want to cut it. You pull it. And you use the lid. The lid has right. a little teeth on it, and you pull nothing. Tin foil kind of works the same way, right? Tin foil actually kind of works. Uh, cling wrap, no. You're just going to stretch it until it breaks, <laughs> and then the whole thing's going to collapse, and are then you, you just got a ball of plastic. Are you buying shit? It's a name brand. You're buying the name brand I'm stuff and works with like, huh? What name brand? The uh, Glad? Switch. Is that what it is? You got a Switch. Else? What, do you have one that works? I've had good ones that work, and tin foil always works. You're in, yeah, I didn't say tin foil. Well, you said tin foil said tin sometimes foil usually works. works. I'm yeah, not, well, I don't have a problem with tin foil. All right. I have a problem with cling wrap. Glad clean wrap. So you're telling me, <laughs> I feel like you're speculating here. Well, I'm just saying. When's I'm, the last time you tried to cling wrap something? Well, do you do it on a weekly basis? I mean, every other week or so. I'll like, I'll like use half a lime or something. Like, I'll use the other half later. Cling wrap it. Which is always an issue. Always. I'll, every you, time. It's your technique. I would love to see you tear up. Great. You know what you can do next time that you're we're talking and like we're doing a podcast? you something you know nothing about. Uh, nothing about? You don't even remember the last time you cling wrapped something. Oh, please. I've cling wrapped in the last 30 days. What was it? A uh, pie on a plate. A pie on a plate. Yeah. What yeah. kind of pie? I do a lot of plate fucking you're cling wrap it. You, you know what's you know what's interesting? What you know what's really interesting? It? Anyone can fucking cling because wrap a, a lemon. A few minutes ago he couldn't remember if it was months ago or years Anyone ago. Anyone can cling wrap a lemon. It's its own when you have to cling wrap something that's on a plate and no have that you. shit cover it. Yep. Please. All right. I've used the cling wrap that's well, actually cling. You, the actual the cling stuff isn't even clear. Well, I want you to change brands and just see if you have a well, better experience. I will. Yeah. But listen. Get rid of that glad once shit. You, once you do, speaking of pies, once you do tear the cling wrap, it's not it's not going to grab the edges very well unless you wrap the whole thing like you're going to ship it. And then you can't get back in it. Oh, please. I know cling wrap so much better than you. Now I'm yeah. starting to get pissed oh. thinking well, about it. A few it. seconds ago, you were acting like you, you didn't, he didn't even know what cling wrap was. Of course, it, of, and, oh, I, he didn't. I explained it to him. Right. And then if I said, said, when did you cling wrap, wrap I'd, have been, I'd have been right there. Do you know I, what, I've just you know never called cling, it cling wrap. You know cling wrap is not even the right thing? You know that clear stuff isn't even called cling wrap? 
Okay. Cling wrap is the stuff that I think cling wrap is the stuff that's actually a different thing. It's a different material that works like plastic wrap. And that it's that, when you say that it's it like a, seals it's a different to the thing, top. different stuff. Look up cling wrap. I okay. am, I am because yeah, I would now, I would have called what you're talking about plastic wrap. Yeah, because that's what it is. It's I plastic like, wrap. I you don't even like know the pl- name of it. Well, what's cling wrap? <laughs> well, we're gonna find out because he's searching it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is what it's devolved into. Yeah, glad cling wrap. See, Pla- all right, but it's also yeah, plastic wrap, cling wrap. Is there a difference? Anyway. Okay, so but I know I know yeah, the cling wrap is uh, yeah that's what you're talking about. Um, but plastic wrap, cling film, uh, shrink wrap, saran wrap, cling wrap, food wrap, or people have pilof- different people film for it. Uh, thin plastic. Okay, so yeah, there's several names for it. But my point is, we have a, we're solving issues around the world. Some issues completely solved. But cling wrap batteries that's, that's batteries are one. getting better. Yeah, remotes, uh, Bluetooth technology is great. There's all these things. Okay, so this is good. A- an issue that still persists that you think should be solved now like is like scientists cling wrap. are like, we did it. We figured out how to cut cling wrap. You did not go back to your office. Yeah. drop something else. We're not done. I tell you another thing they need to fix. Uh, I, for the life of me, can't understand why when you go to a McDonald's or Burger King or any fast food joints, the audio from the guy inside still sounds terrible in the drive-thru. Yeah. Why? You can get a cheap pair of uh, speakers for your laptop at yeah. Best Buy that sound way better than that. Yeah. Why does that audio still sound like shit? Put it, it out there. Mind-blowing. You know what? And can we can we FaceTime? Can I'm we, fine with that. Can we FaceTime the girl? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. I'd like that. That way maybe on, you can read her lips at least if you can't hear That's her. true. That might help. Can I say this? You ever like think about breaking up with a restaurant because they quit carrying your soda? No, I do. I thought about it. <laughs> McDonald's. And now your soda is Dr Pepper. Yep. I know that because when we go into Louis and they don't have Dr Pepper, there was just, like there my was like, face right to the table. Like a couple, ah! <laughs> a couple weeks ago, it was hell. <laughs> really? Like yeah. two weeks in a row. I'm like, how did you not refill the Dr Pepper in a week? He was gonna burn a the place whole to the ground. Went by. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Weren't we going to do comments? I didn't say we like, got hey, off topic. Comments. We got off topic. Listen, All right. This I enjoy, show is also I, a podcast. I, I enjoy when I we know. get off topic. No, no. And I listen, I, li- I love off topic stuff, but not the stuff, not the soda Simon, anymore. Here's, here's what I know about Simon. Life is a chore. He just wants to get it over with. <laughs> no. How about this? Somebody who can read the fact that I liked what happened. But we reached a point where we should move on. Like if we went and canoeing. And now I'm calling it. If we said, Simon, let's go canoeing this weekend. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a good time. He'd say, can we get in the water and just do a lap and get back in the car? Like, why are we looking at this frog? You think that's what I was yeah, part of the no, trip. No, you lost me. You lost He's me. like, yeah, no, we want to do a loop yeah. and get back in the car. He's being silly And which now. route are we taking to get Listen, home? Listen. Well, now, which I route are we taking to get home? That's Well, yeah, yeah. That's me. How long is that going to take? Yeah. Not for that. And what's the quickest route on the pond? Right. Well, how long is it going to take <laughs> to get there? It's a very... How long are we going to be on the water? Like, yeah. this, which... is, this is a faster route. No, I like the water. All right. So, what do you think? I'll do mine. Do it. Go for it. And for the record, Abstro emailed me the comments. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And I was going to be so conscious of taking them off the computer. What a we reasonable got, person. Got a lot of uh, suggestions from people uh, on what we should be doing, file sharing. or Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah like everyone. a Dropbox or something like that. I know. Yeah, no, yeah. You got, you, you're expecting most of us to be. It's an easy thing to solve. We just don't do it. Yeah. It's uh, not a hard problem like cling wrap. Right. No. Uh, this comment is from ARC. Has nothing to do with ARC, I don't think, but it's uh, from Dr. Medic 593 Simon, my mom said she wants hardwood in a bedroom. Please tell me that's wrong. You are the expert. I don't know why. Maybe I should know why hardwood would be bad in the bedroom. Do some floors need maintenance like hardwood? Do you have to like re- repolish them or something? I wish I knew more about the keep up. I would never have floors that I had to yearly like apply some sort of yearly no, but refinishing your where if you had hardwood floors like oak wood flooring in your house you you could not refinish that for twenty years. Okay, that's more like it. So I mean, like you might if you scratch it up and damage it, and you have a lot of damage, and the the like the the fin the original finish wasn't good, and for some reason it's dulling or peeling or this or that, then yeah, you got to get somebody in there to do a good job. We're assuming she's gonna have a big rug in there, right? Well, I mean, you you can assume that. People put rugs in front of beds. I don't think she's wrong, man. I don't know why. Maybe I should know, but I don't. Like, I would want a rug in my bedroom. I want some soft floor. I know. Some people really like that. 
I could. I don't like carpet. Carpet's just dirty. I'm all the same over the way. Place. We we have. Uh, it's not wood, but it's laminate. We have laminate in our bedroom, and the reason we do it is because it's so easy to clean. Yeah, super easy to clean. Mm-hmm. Got laminate and a rug. Yeah, you can clean that carpet all day long, but in five years after you've been walking on doing it, that shit ain't yeah, clean. It's gonna look like shit. And, and, that and it laminate, ain't clean. Yeah, and it's, that laminate, that laminate will look good for a long time. My next comment is from a Conan video from okay. Jared Michael. Hey, uh, Jared. Uh, both people who aren't here, Thick and Dryly's had an argument about looting things too early mm-hmm. while enemies are still attacking yep, and looting yep, bodies. Yep, yep, yep. And Jared says, so if one were to die while a teammate is looting, would that be to get Dorid? And I think that's a great point. Yeah, I think it would be because he, his defense, Dora's defense on that is, uh, you do it, Thick, yeah. but Thick. Does hardly He'll start ever do that. too. He'll, They're both he... guilty of that. I feel like. Yeah, but, but I remember having so this argument hard... in seven days with uh, Duralis. Like he's just going around checking the zombies while we're yeah. s- there's like still a dozen zombies there. We're fighting them. Yeah, he's no, yeah. He's digging stuff. in the butt of the other ones. Yes. No, uh, Duralis is known more for it, but he's not here to defend himself. So we'll just say it's true and move on. Right. He does it. I forget which video this was from. This is from Alan Lindenberg. I just got my two tickets going all the way. To P- PLGX from London, going to there. But wow. He was talking PLGX. Uh, I think it was on the PLGX uh, commercial. Oh, yeah? So someone's buying a ticket from London. That's amazing. And maybe more people. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Well, we had a, I mean, we, we had a few people at RTX that were from overseas and crazy we, locations. And yeah, they're but like, that's like a good show. I, <laughs> like, like <laughs> but yeah, no, we but, just threw this together. Well, I remember asking, it's like, ah, so what, you, you know, you come here for the whole show? It's like, I just came to see you guys. It's like, yeah. Really? Like all the way to this thing, just see, just to see us. Yep. Well, like, but the, okay. the, well, just to see us. But that's the bonus. That's what's good about RTX is the bonus is came just to see us. But let's you know, if it's there's, bad, there's, there's twenty or bad, uh, fifty true. other things to yeah. look at. But we got people coming from Australia that that have at least said that they were, which is like, that's right? Damn, it's crazy. I love it. That's gonna be such a fun party. I can't yeah. wait because I mean, this is like when we go to RTX. Usually, there's just some people there that are like, oh, I like these guys too. Like this is just yeah. just the Neebs gaming community, yes. and then how it should have ended in, in JT music community. It's gonna be great to have that yeah. many people it's a in big one old place. Party. Yeah. All right. This comment is from the GTA Epic Stunt Day, and there was some concerns about whether I actually hit Abstro's plane on the last stunt. Really? Because it looked like Not to you me did. you did. Yeah, and it says, "Our uh, uh, it's from Seth Savage." Are you sure you really hit Neebs at the end? From the POV we are shown, it could have gone either way. Astro even makes a disappointed sound when he hits uh, Neebs, but the Neeb says, uh, you hit me. I figured you guys were probably just tired and decided to just add that sound effect uh, <laughs> to make it, <laughs> it seem was a wobble. like a hit, and then call it a day. Well, no, he definitely hit the back because we watched it in the... In the Rockstar editor, he yeah, clipped, but he clipped the back. I wouldn't be as suspicious, but we weren't Sean Neeb's POV, and I can't imagine why you wouldn't show that. For the record, I know I'm overanalyzing this. Yes, it doesn't really matter. Yes, you guys are my favorite channel, World Peace, and you're lucky because I have that footage. Okay, so here we are. We've got it. So, th- so this is from your angle. Yeah, if you're right. watching the video, you can see it. If you're listening on oh, the podcast, damn. all right. I'll explain it to you. Here we are, driving up to the ramp. Mm-hmm. Boom, it goes into that cinematic cam thing it does. Yeah. Bam. Oh, yep. That's... I was knocked off the bike, and then I hit the ground and I die. That's it. You were hit, baby. And it says, I, I flattened you, so yeah, there. That's all the evidence you need. Perfect. Confirmed. I had no idea you had the footage. You shocked me there. Like, well, right there. I mean, ready. you shouldn't. I mean, you've known me for years. I assume I'm the guy that always has everything ready. Always, most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah, it's at least 55, 55% of the yeah, time. Yeah, most of the time. That's not Always bad. is a stretch. That's, yeah, yeah. But a majority of the time. Maybe 95. Are you done? Yeah. Brought a video to the plate. Everything's there. And we're capping it off with good old Astro. Oh, yeah. My comments are riveting. They are. They're, <laughs> no, they're not. We're but they're good. We're going to record Forest. After this, we're going to be playing some Forest. Uh huh. And I can tell from Simon's energy, he is, <laughs> he is ready. He is ready to survive some cannibals. My, my energy. Yeah. Man, hey, I, look, you're making me you self conscious here. We're going to go outside and do cartwheels for about 15 minutes. Right. Th- throw get the, the frisbee. Blood a little bit. Maybe get a Nerf it. gun fight going. Yeah, okay. 
That'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pump me up here with these jazzy comments. Well, this is first one's from uh, Classic Porcupine that says, uh, this is on our PLGX video. If we can't make it, will y'all be uploading highlights? Don't know. I don't know. Um, it might be incriminating. Yeah. In that case, we will destroy any but evidence. You, you would think we could have, you know, um, Alex and Anthony or Ada Hop. Or one of the uh, local uh, colleges. Yeah. Anybody. I mean, we're, I mean, we're not going to film the event, but I think we should walk around with video cameras and just get footage from the event, at least for a comment on comments to talk about it. Definitely. So I don't know if we'll make a specific video talking about highlights, but I guarantee we're going to have a comment on comments where we go over like all that happened. Exactly. So you can look forward to that. We'll have something. Uh, Nico. Uh, this was on an ARC video. says, what happened to Aberration? Oh, aberration! We, uh, yeah, we uh, we well, hol holidays was a big thing. Yep, um, holidays got in the way. We have one in the works. We'll we'll see how we'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. We we would like to do more aberration, but we got to uh, uh, something has to happen. There has to be a few things that line up. The stars have to align. Yeah, because I'm not ready to quit it. Because I really like aberration yes. still. And we actually recorded one the other day. It was great. We'll keep you posted on that. But also, like we're enjoying the forest now, mm -hmm. and. We're gonna do what we can. Yeah, and and one of the, one of the things we heard from people when we had aberration going was they were getting mixed up between extinction and aberration. It doesn't help that Conan looks similar. Yes, so it, it may just be too much of that style of video on our channel. I know that a lot of there was a, there were several comments on the GTA videos that was like, "Oh, I'm glad this is back because this is a breath of fresh air." Because mm -hmm. it's not your constant, you know, just medieval or you know, your survival mm -hmm. style. Right. Naked people with a sword in yeah. the woods. Yeah, it's us being stupid in an amazing world. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, this is my last comment from Trollface Tyler that just says, "Will you guys ever uh, do GTA mod stunt videos again?" I could see that. We if, find a good mod, yeah. 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 I, I enjoy doing the multiplayer so much. And the mm -hmm. problem with the modding is that's single player only. Yep. But uh, there are mods for that, and you would think that maybe one of them might work now. For what? If we could all get into a modded server. If we can all get in, because there are mods for yeah, that. Yeah, they do exist, but man, yeah, I, I have no idea even where to start on those. But we're smart. We could figure it out. Probably. No, given, given enough time, but I've never seen any... I mean, I see servers where people are playing, like, it's like role play servers, where people are playing cops and robbers, but I've never seen any server that's like crazy stunt ramps. Yep. Hmm. But like the role play guys, like they, um, like they're very selective. Like you can't get into like a lot of these GTA role play servers, like unless you mm. fill out some paperwork. You gotta be born into it. Yeah, because they what don't are you want, talking about. They don't want people getting in there and just fucking around. They're like, no, if you're in here, you're role play. Like that's what you're here to do. You don't come in here and yell at mom because your sandwich ain't ready. Yeah, you're a cop. Like you, you're you a create cop. a character and you exist in this world yeah. as this character. Right, and you go out and do stuff. Don't yes. you break character? Don't talk to me like yeah. you're. So it's, what would it's you a be? What server. would you be? Oh man, in GTA, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe like a granny would be fun. Right, and just play an old woman, and when you run across people, you talk. Yeah, like them. You talk. Uh, yeah, you talk, and you play the character of this old woman. You give yourself a name, an alias, a uh, backstory. You give them everything. It's really interesting. <laughs> no, I mean there are entire channels that do this. That's just GTA role play, and that's that's their bad. I mean, Mr. Moon, he's he's great at it. Right. Yeah. That could be you someday, Simon. You could be a GTA Five role player, Simon. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yeah yeah i can tell he's gonna do it yeah no yeah, yeah. yeah he's going home tonight and figuring out how it works <laughs> <laughs> you should probably send yourself a note a reminder gta role player yeah i eventually want to make a video on what they need to do in gta 6 because i think we all have opinions on that yeah you yeah. should be able to sit down anywhere there's a seat i'll say that okay so sit in chairs mm -hmm. all right that's neebs i mean that's enough GTA 6. <laughs> I don't think so. Now we're sitting down anywhere. Nope, I want more than that. You can only sit down in your house. Yeah, I don't want to sit... Okay, yeah. I mean, if, if they give you the option, fine. Okay. But I don't think it should be top of their priority So we got list. more. We won't spoil them right, right now. Right, yeah. We shouldn't get into but it. But that's a big one. All right. I don't... Okay. Sure. Maybe sure. cling wrap sure. that tears. You can sit down in Red Dead uh, in certain places. So, so they're, they're getting there. They're making progress. Yeah, there you go. You know what else bothers me about technology? May have talked about this before. Motion censored sinks. I mean, this is basic stuff, right? I mean, a sensor, it, work, it even works in scrap mechanic. Yeah. Like when you put your hands under the sink, like it's, I mean, this should just come on. Right. It shouldn't be a, 
uh, how high or low do my yeah. hands have to be underneath this faucet? Are my hands vertical or like, horizontal? As soon as you cross the stream of where the water would be coming out. If they're under the water area, You on. need to on. Hands out, That's water it. off. That's it. Well, I will say, I went and saw my mom and dad, and they had some hurricane damage. Uh, and while they were getting repairs, they figured, like, oh, let's update the kitchen a little bit. And they got a sink that is automatic. It works like a charm. In the bathroom? No, in the kitchen. In the kitchen? In the kitchen. It's hands under? No, it's not hands under. It's uh, it, it, the, the sink kind of looks like a big hook. Okay. And the sensor is right under the curve of the hook. Okay. So you just throw your hand under that, turns on. On. Put it back under, turns off. Now, does it stay on till you're done? Yes. Like it doesn't turn off halfway Mm-mm. through, then no. you gotta wave at it. No, no, no. It stays on the whole time. I mean, the reason they do that in you know restaurants and bathrooms is to save, save water, which yeah, I understand. Like I noticed uh, the Walmart where I live, they took theirs out. Like it was there for. <laughs> really? They're just like, yeah, this ain't working. They just got rid just of it. It was too much it. of a hassle. Yep. Okay. All right. Just we're saving. A, we're saving water, but it's pissing too much people. Just too put many a people off. on it. Everyone's leaving there with soap all over their hands. Yeah. But I, I swear I've seen them that the water is still running. With sensors. Yeah, and with sensors. And it's like, okay, it just keeps running because there's no one there to control yeah. it. And that's a big thing for like a store like Walmart that has like thousands of stores. Yeah. If you got like a hundred that are broke and they're just running. That adds up. Or people that leave them running. Mm-hmm. That's, you, yeah. That could be you, millions of dollars. Yeah. You look at your bill at the end of the day on that. The bean counter goes, hey, who, 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 get these regular ones back in here, huh? Who, 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 who. <laughs> I'm not killing it. Who, 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 running up here. That's what I imagine Walmart's business. That's what their accountants talk about. That's like. what he sounds like. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do in the forest tonight, Simon? I think we should play. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have a goal? No, my you, goal is to stay alive. You don't remember the last recording, do you? Not really. Uh, no, I do. I remember we went in and got found some very cool stuff and then um, came out of that cave. So that's about where the end was, right? Right. And uh, God, now, now I need to kind of talk to you guys because I think I may, what, is, what, we record, what we recorded, I may chop off some of the end of that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, well, that's, actually, that's I mean, this is scenes. coming out way behind before. The scenes. This is coming out way before the first episode, so maybe we shouldn't even be saying what I'm saying. Yeah, no, this will. Uh, I mean, the first episode. Uh, well, you really gave away too much. I think we went yeah. to no. a cave. We got some stuff, and we came. We got out. some cool stuff. Cool stuff. Spoilers. Spoilers. Spoilers cool man. stuff happens. Yeah, cool beans. All right, man. Are we wrapping <laughs> already? We're already done. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it got so crazy good at the end when you guys were talking about whatever it was you were talking about the that sinks. I stopped listening to. <laughs> the yeah, the sinks and the sensors. Yeah. yeah, and the water. Absolutely riveting. Oh, are we done though? Oh, we're we're yeah. I want to okay. say thank you to Ridge to Wallet. Place, yeah, Ridge Wallet. Uh-huh. Uh huh. If you haven't got your tickets to PLGX, uh, in the Links, description, yeah. give it good luck because yep. limited seats. They're gonna sell out eventually. I hope. Yeah. And uh, uh, we're going to play Forest. Yeah. I'm Doralis. I got product in my hair. My snot stinks. Ooh.